It used to be this game at school we'd play. Um, there you go, before and after. Uh, this game at school we play uh, called British Bulldogs. Hang on. Red Rover it's called. <laughs> Fucking hell. Uh, both of them got banned, so I think... Here we are, try and balance this on the... <laughs> okay. Yeah, we'd... Uh, both those games got banned at primary school. Yeah, all, all like concrete floor everywhere um, where we were. And... Um, it's fucking dangerous, especially as I see. Like, I went to a school where like boys had to wear shorts all year round. <laughs> just some fucking comprehensive school. Like the headmaster was just old school as fuck. Though he had a cane. Like he had like a set of canes in his like office and a bunch of like stuffed owls and stuff because that was like the school logo an owl. And uh, I remember like I was in his office quite a bit. I was a bit of an annoyed kid. Bit of a rebel, eh? Eh? And, um, yeah, did a bunch of shit that landed me in there when I was, I was just a wee boy. And, um, I asked him one time, like, because I thought about it and I talked about it to mates, but like, why has he got canes in there? That's a bit archaic. Probably didn't think archaic as a kid. And, um, so I thought, like, next time I was in there, I was like, fuck it, I'll ask him. And I was like, Sir, how come you've got uh, canes up on the wall? They're they're illegal now, aren't they? And he just went, you never know with rules. One day they might bring them back. <laughs> he was a fucking nutter, man. And um, he did an assembly once where he was talking about employing a new teacher to like fill one that had left. The role of one that had left. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, it was... Um, he did this assembly where he, like... In front of us all, he threw away half the CVs, the resumes, resumes. It's uh, in front of us all into a bin in assembly in a big sports hall. Like 400 kids just watch this like old man uh, just go. And he just went, this is how I make the first decision. He goes, I believe in luck. Luck is very important in life. And I don't employ unlucky people. And so he just took a random half of the CVs, resumes, and um, <laughs> fucking, yeah. He just, boy, do you realize how fucking confusing that is now as an adult, let alone as a kid? What he's saying is, you've already got it, but just to like really go there, it's like, he's saying that on the basis that he's called them unlucky, they are unlucky because that's why they're unlucky and then he's throwing them in the bin and that might be some of the best people he could employ he might just be left with all the fucking crackhead pedophiles coming to the school like, he doesn't fucking know man yeah, it's like he was trying to teach his religion <laughs> but uh, yeah I don't know where I was going with that had a fucking weird headmaster wall shorts oh yeah games <laughs> I'm like a fucking, I'm like Grandpa Simpson, man. I'm like, ah, blah, blah. back in my day, we had to wear shorts. I literally am like that now. I'm, I'm getting old. <laughs> and, uh, 27. <laughs> it's, uh, I don't feel old, man. Like, you know that thing where people say young at heart? I think I, like, I never knew what that meant. I thought it was just like a cheesy saying, but I think I know what that means now because, like, I see some people around me and they've become really, like, like drones <laughs> they've just become like efficient at whatever they're trying to do without any enjoyment of life or any like playfulness like there's nothing left to learn and I think like if you retain that sort of childlike quality you can just keep it all the way through life and uh she's some fucking miserable people man some people where it's just like ah, what, what are you living for if that's if that's your approach to everything um yes yeah, so we play this game at school right uh, it's called Red Rover. <laughs> Red Ro there was another one called British Bulldogs. Both dangerous as fuck. Red Rover. Basically, like everyone in the class would fucking get together and play it. It was crap. It was like, uh, <laughs> like talking like 30 kids all playing one game in this like concrete playground, big, big area. And um, <laughs> basically, you split into two teams. Like, you sort of pick your teams, right? Like, people actually pick you. you have a, it's like, right, I'm captain today. Pick a bunch of people, your little kids, and um, <laughs> yeah, and then <laughs> you, you split up about sort of 12 meters apart as two teams, and then you all hold hands so that you're one line of people, and then you take turns at calling the weakest one over. 
in the hope that you'll catch them to grow your line. But you don't want to get someone too weak because when they become part of your line, they'll become the weakness in your line. And all, when you get called over, you go, Red Rover, Red Rover, we call Samantha Rover and Samantha. Like you do that as a group. It's like all the kids chanting at once. They all, they still holding hands, they huddle. They will like get into a, like a holding hand circle. They decide tactically who's the like, the best weakest link to also have on their own side. And then they turn back into a line and go, Red Rover, like all the kids saying it, Red Rover, Red Rover, we call Samantha Rover. And then Samantha's something like, fuck, I've been chosen. <laughs> this is where, like, people playing this game as a kid is like where the hunger game <laughs> It's like, I fucking loved it though, man. Brings out the warrior mentality in you. Then like, the thing is not everyone has it and they're suddenly playing this game like, please don't pick me. But like, you, like your job is to, to like just fucking, from your line, run into their line and we used to do this thing where we'd launch the person as fast as we could by using our line as a way of like like humanly being an elastic band that bends back and then pushes them forwards and gives them a push into the other people's line and um and this one girl lost her two front teeth from it <laughs> this red rover red rover we call alex over on a fucking icy day on concrete man and she ran so fucking hard at the other crowd. Like she was like, I'm gonna get through. And she was aiming for the weak gap in theirs, but it was like, fuck man, she's, she's got too much of a light frame. And uh, she fucking made it through. <laughs> she, she broke through their hands, but in the process they caught her legs because she actually like jumped over their arms. And then her head swang around and hit the concrete. And her teeth were lying on the fucking concrete, man. Like it's, um, that's something I'll take to the grave. <laughs> <laughs> this working girl holding her head, like her face was bruised as well instantly and she'd lost her two front teeth and um imagine losing your teeth to concrete fuck I can't think of this uh best not to go there eh <laughs> right I'll show you some other bits